today is a very special day here at World News Now, not just because I am here, but that it, it that's is a big deal. I mean, it's kind of a big deal, but <laughs> perhaps one of our all time favorite food holidays. National Pizza Pie Day. Uh, everybody know if you watch this show, you know, we find a day. Every day is some food. It's National Day and we find it and we get it. And now we're talking about pizza. So I start off with a guy named Scott. His name is Scott Weiner, but he likes pizza. He's an expert in pizza. He does tours, Scott's Pizza Tours, in search of the best pizza in town right here in New York City. I'm hanging out with my buddy TJ. So I'm going to get a Soho square slice, and I'm going to have pep pepperoni square slice. Both corners. So he laid on slices of fresh house-made mozzarella first, and now topping it with a pre-cooked sauce. These are the pepperonis that cup and then char off. And it finishes it off with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then the last minute, it'll come out and sit on the floor, and that's it. We'll be coming out in a minute. And we're into the territory of pan pizzas. So this is a style of pizza that's baked in a pan. It's a Sicilian pizza, but the sauce is on top of the cheese. So it's an upside down Sicilian pizza. I got you a corner slice, right. which holds up a little bit better. I got an edge slice, which kind of tends to drop down a little bit more. But let me take a bite, you let me know. I know you're not like a saucy, saucy guy. But you know what helps me here? This stick crust with the sauce. Okay. It absorbs it, it's perfect. It's all about ratios, it's all about balance. Listen, all right, I got you one more slice that I want you to try. This is their pepperoni square, okay? This is the one topping I'm letting you have, and it's not normal pepperoni. It's a natural casing pepperoni, so it means that the meat cups and chars around the outside. It's different from the kind of pepperoni that lays flat. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit zestier, a little bit meatier. Oh, yeah. Awesome pepperoni, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Right? Lombardi's opened in 1905. It was the first pizzeria in, in all of North America. It, this is a coal-fired pizzeria. With that intense heat, it means that a pizza can bake in about three minutes. This is a Neapolitan American pizza. It should not be covered in cheese. There should be no blanket of cheese. It should be dots like this. With fresh mozzarella, you can't shred it. It's too wet. So they have to slice it and put it in little dots like this. Insert the spatula, wrist twist. This way it separates the entire slice. And then instead of lifting up the slice and potentially dropping the front and losing some cheese, you elevate the plate and you do the snag and drag. I've been doing this wrong my whole life. Cheers. Cheers. Let's eat. For me, what makes a pizza bad yes. is a crust that has been ignored, All right. a crust that's only thought of as a vehicle for topping. While you're eating this, what you're tasting, a lot of it is this beautiful char on the underside of the slice. Right here, do you see this line? That's a burn mark from the edge of a brick. The crust has become a big deal to me now. This is good pizza. All right, this is Lombardi. This is the original. This is America's first pizzeria back in 1905 and they know what they're doing. They you were just telling well. me how much you love carbohydrates. <laughs> <laughs> you go at it, help yourself. This is fantastic pie. Don't worry, I got it. And we have a, <laughs> the adventure doesn't end here. All right, we got part two of this coming up. Today is National Pizza Pie Day, and in honor of this very special holiday, TJ here went out into the heart of New York City in search of the perfect slice of pizza. Been working on the heartburn for a week. Yeah, you don't eat carbs normally. That's not a big a move for you. Not a whole lot. Now, all three <laughs> places I was taken to by Scott Wiener of Scott's Pizza Tours, all fantastic. One particular pie surprised me, though. Look at this. Now, how long has this place been around? Ruby Rosa is part of a family of pizzerias that goes back to 1960. The way the oven works is it's a rotary oven, so it's got six panels that are moving around a central axis. This is our pizza. This is a classic, which is just a standard uncooked tomato uh, with low moisture mozzarella cheese, and that's it. So the cheese that we're gonna get on this is different from what we had at Lombardi's. This is a much uh, harder cheese, and cutting it into cubes is the way that they had to do because they had no cheese shredder back then. I hope you're not full. Cheese sauce crust, the absolute essentials. But trust me, when you bite into this, it has plenty of flavor. You do not need the meat topping. This is a pizza that the dough is made in-house. The tomato sauce is just tomato. The cheese is a simple two-part cheese. There's pecorino and then there's mozzarella and that's it. No spatula, it's a fingy situation. Of course, this is a much thinner pizza. The underside has no charring, yeah. okay? So this is a pizza that uh, was baked directly on the floor of an oven, but it's a lower temperature oven. Good deal. 
Man, that sauce is good. The sauce is good. Right. Man, that sauce is good. This is a thinner crust. But it's more dense because when they pound it out, the more physical you are with it, the tougher the crust gets. And it's just nothing but fresh tomato. Tomato. Dumped out of the can. Crushed down in a food mill. That's it. I'm not used to enjoying pizza without toppings as much as I'm enjoying this pizza. I'm not. It's a big day for all of us. It's a big day, man. Pizza day. <laughs> Don't miss our updates on Facebook. <laughs> We just had a little pizza accident. Here. We got one slice because the other one went down. So um, it's supposed to be two. We're going to have to share this one. Sorry, I didn't fit it. Facebook at WNNFans.com. I had to get that in. Yeah, we got that in. And I'm going to let you have that slice. It, no, I had the last one. Knock yourself out. You need to eat. I know. I'm so hungry. You have to eat. Yes, please eat. Thank you. Oh,